Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use the Load SVG Paths feature to automatically draw an imported image in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. I love that you can import your own images into Doodly and set it up so that the hand appears to draw them. Now, I actually enjoy manually tracing the drawing paths, but it can be time consuming. I often will use the fade option as a time saver, and you'll see me do that quite a bit. Plus, I do like the effect. I like that nice gentle fade in. However, did you know that if you import your image as an SVG file rather than a JPEG or PNG file, that Doodly can automatically extract the drawing paths for you? Now talk about a time saver. So what do I mean when I say SVG? Well, it's a format. It's an image format. It's called a vector format. And it's really great at preserving the quality of the image, especially when you enlarge it or shrink it. These files typically have layers, and that's kind of where the beauty of this tool that I'm going to show you comes in. Now, keep in mind that not all SVG images are good candidates for this technique. For example, I have downloaded a few of my own files that I'm going to use, a few SVG files, and I want to show them to you. So here's the first one. This is really simple, a simple little car. We're going to have Doodly draw all of these things for us. And you'll see these are the paths, these layers. Every single line here is its own layer. And like I say, that's where this magic is going to come into play. So let's go ahead and bring it, this first one in to Doodly. So I have a new scene. I'm going to go to Props, Blue Plus Sign, and I'm going to find my file. And it's right here, this car. And boom. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And let's go ahead and click the pencil icon. Now normally I would either choose Draw or Fade or I would add paths, new path, new path, new path. Let's zoom in on this. But because it's an SVG file, I've got this handy load SVG paths button that appears. So what happens? I click it. I'm going to say yes. And boom, Doodly now has all of these paths automatically for me. So I'm going to go ahead and save and return. And now let's go ahead and just preview this image and the hand is doing it line by line. This may be a little fast, but I think you get the idea of how much time that is saving us. So one more time. That's really all there is to it, but I want to show you some caveats because this will help you, I think. Let's look at another one, sunflower. So I found this little sunflower and let's zoom in. It's also a fairly simple image, I would say, but there's a lot more to it than there was with that little car. And look at every single line here. I mean, there's hundreds of them. And then all these little dots for all the seeds. So what happens when we bring that into Doodly? It will still work, it'll be fine, but it's gonna have something that you might want to be aware of. So let's click plus. Browse for the file and bring it in again, make it a little bit bigger. Let's click the pencil icon, and now we have our image here. And again, load SVG paths. Say OK. And boom, there's, there they all are. It's quite a bit. Save and return. And let's just go ahead and preview this image. And I, let's make it longer because there's a lot to it. You notice how it's kind of haphazard how he's drawing it? It doesn't really look like an artist would draw it, right? And that's just because of the way this image is laid out. So you don't have control. Like you might want to, if you were an actual artist, maybe you'd start with the center and then draw each of these and then maybe shade these in last. Well, again, if we just look at this one more time, you'll just see it's just kind of a strange reveal. So you will sometimes get unexpected results on that. So this one, this Fiat, this one's pretty simple. It's similar to our other image. There's not a whole lot to it. 
but if you look at it there's only one path it's just this one item so it doesn't have the benefit of doing it you know line by line by line by line it's just one thing so what is doodly going to do well if we go ahead and import it click its pencil icon and choose load svg paths there's only one remember doodly is going to trace this okay so see it traced everything and look at all those dots and everything and if you, you zoom in here You'll see it doesn't really trace the line itself, but rather it outlines the line. So where we, if we were doing this on our own, we would do a path, let me see how to pass. Let me make it that. We would do something like this, where we're covering the entire line and revealing that entire line we wouldn't outline it and then later fill it in so let's go down here you'll see hundreds hundreds of paths here 848 paths I'm deleting the one I just added okay so 847 paths so that's pretty complicated let's go ahead and save it and let's look let's make it a little longer so we can see it let's see how this looks so he's outlining and it's kind of haphazard and then when he's done then all the black fills in at the end and that still gives a, a decent illusion so you know you still might be okay with it but let's take one more look at one more image it's gonna be very similar in that it's one path but it's super complicated. Look at all these little grid lines here in the grill, okay? And then all these little lines and all these. So this one's gonna be really hard for Doodly to deal with. So let's go ahead and see what happens. And then again, this has all this black. So this black isn't gonna be drawn in. This is gonna just appear once all the things are outlined. So let's load it. And there, it's just covered in red. And there's gonna be, let's see, how many millions of paths. So remember the other one was 840. Okay, so this has 2,010 paths. Let's go ahead and save and return. I can hear my computer's fan is starting to kick in here a little bit. Let's make this a little longer. This is going to be very hard for Doodly to render, I'm going to tell you that. And I have a very good computer. Here are my specs on my iMac. Okay, so I have some pretty decent power here. And this is going to be hard for Doodly, I'm telling you right now. So let's go ahead and hit preview. It's taking forever for it to get there, okay. And nothing's really happening. Okay, there we go. And I can't really get a good sense of what it's going to look like in preview. Like, it's just too much for it to handle. And it doesn't look all that good. I will export this after I'm done and show it to you how it looks exported, assuming that it goes okay. So knowing that this is taking up a lot of processing power and making it really hard for Doodly. As I build the video, if I'm having tons of these complicated SVGs inside my video, I think Doodly's gonna have a hard time with it. Just so you know, be aware, okay? And honestly, this is not the most, this is still a pretty straightforward one. I've seen people trying to do some really complex SVGs and I, I just think the more complex they are, the harder they are to work with, and then they don't even look that great when they're rendered. So just be aware of that, okay? But for things like this one, this really simple, it's awesome. It does exactly what you need it to do. It's a simple graphic. It doesn't take a ton of resources to create it. Okay, so knowing what you know about the SVG files and how Doodly handles them, 
I'm gonna create just a very simple little shape here and I'm gonna do it in layers because I want Doodly to recognize those layers and handle them individually. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a pencil, my pencil tool. So this is gonna be layer one. Half of my heart, okay? I'm gonna insert a new layer and do the second half of my heart. Keep in mind, I am not an artist, so don't laugh too hard. And I'm gonna add an arrow, so new layer, and another new layer. So you see, for every stroke that I'm doing, I'm adding a layer. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and export this, and I'm gonna choose SVG. Okay, let's go back into Doodly. Click the pencil icon, load SVG paths, say OK. Here it is, and you'll see 13 paths. And I think everything's fine, save and return. And let's give it a little time here, and quick preview. Okay, that's pretty good. It's not quite perfect. It, you notice there was a little bit of um, early reveal here with with these. So let's just take a quick look at it. Click your pencil icon and let's zoom in. And the reason we could see part of this part of the arrow early is because this path is a little bit too fat and same on this size. So all I'm going to do is shrink my path size down and I'll do the same on the second one and then the same on this and this one too. Path size is just a little too large, just revealing too much. Now let's take a quick look and that should be nice and clean. And there you have it. Now you can let Doodly automatically draw your imported SVG images. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thanks for watching.